there is no effective way to remove one of these cells. To do so, you would have to move an entire bonding plate to get at that cell, and then most likely destroy the cooling jacket that runs through and touches every single cell. What we're going to do now, though, is open up one of these sheets and show you what's inside and what prevents us from easily changing cells. The first thing we're going to have to do is remove a collector plate. And since these are live voltages, we're using insulated tools. And what we're going to do is pry off one of these plates. There are 69 fusible link wires connected to 69 cells. And we're just simply going to pop every single one of those. Now that the plate is off, you can see all of the bonding wires that have been snapped off of the cells. By the way, these fusible link wires or bonding wires with this collector plate combination was actually one of Tesla's early innovations because prior to that time, lithium ion cells were bonded together with a stainless steel strip and then spot welded. What Tesla did was used a thin fusible link to both provide a connection and a fuse. So now that we've removed all of these connector plates, there are 1,242 fusible link connections that have been now disabled on this pack. And what we're going to do now is go inside where no man has ever gone before. 